YouTube has made it so clear that the two most important things to focus on for your videos, your title, and your thumbnail. In fact, they said 90% of the best performing videos have custom thumbnails. So let's call this packaging your YouTube video, the title with the thumbnail. And it's really important. Why? Well, if you don't get the click, you ain't gonna get the view. So in this video, I'm gonna share three really cool tools. Two of them are free. So you can test your thumbnails and not just guess and hopefully get more views. Thumbs up TV. So here's how it works and it is crazy simple. You pick your thumbnail. So we're going to do this one right here and I'm going to click it. You can also drag it in and then you're going to put the title here and I do think this is important and here's what happens and I'm going to toggle this. You can see right here you can do dark mode but it shows you what your thumbnail with title will look like on every possible screen. So there's like the home screen large, small, the sidebar. So this is what shows up a lot of times in recommended, large, small again, in the history. And then check this out. See if we're gonna show you what how it looks on your phone and even on TV. It can also help you with your title because check this out. So it's cutting off no plugins. So if I go back up here and I just delete that part of the title, then you get a better idea. So this says Final Cut. I'm okay with that because Final Cut, Final Cut Pro, same thing. So this would be a great way just to preview and see what your thumbnail looks like before you ever publish it. Thumbnail Peak. It is so simple to use. Now you can drop one thumbnail in or even two. So I'm going to look at two and you're going to see what it's going to do. So we're going to go both of these. They're really the same shot, but what I want to look at is how does the, uh, how does the title read? I'm going to put my title in here. Now they also give you some prompts here. Use a 16 by nine aspect ratio. The resolution should be 1280 by 720, the pixels and the maximum size. I create all of mine in Canva and it's a thumbnail template I use for YouTube. So all of this will automatically be. Now I'm gonna hit preview and <laughs> check this out. It actually mimics what it's gonna look like on YouTube with your titles. Now it doesn't give you all the different sizes, but it shows other similar type thumbnails. These are actual videos that you can actually see the views, when it was published, the channel. There's my buddy Dylan from Final Cut Bro. Because of the title and the keywords, it's going to pull similar thumbnails from videos and it gives you an idea of exactly what it looks like. TubeBuddy. Now TubeBuddy has a great tool called A-B testing and you can't preview a thumbnail beforehand, but what you can do is you can test thumbnails when you upload videos or even go back and do an old one. And that's what we're going to do now. So I'm going to click on AB test and you can see old AB tests I've done and it gives you a ton of information and we're going to pick a video right now and I'm going to walk you through this. Now you do need to be on the legend plan for this. This is not available on the free plan, but you can use TubeBuddy for free if you want to. So check that out. So we're going to do create an AB test to be able to AB test a video it has to be public on YouTube, all right? So we're gonna check this one out and I'll tell you why. So this is what I did on how to record voiceovers on a Mac for free. I like the thumbnail, it's just doing okay. So I'm gonna test another one. So let me click this. Uh, I usually do it for 14 days. And by the way, we're really gonna do this. So uh, I'll come back in a couple of weeks and see how it does. Yeah, this is gonna start at midnight Pacific time and we're gonna continue. And now you choose it and I know that it's this one right here. And you can see it's very, very different. And when I hit start test, yes, I wanna start it and it creates the test. And so what happens is you'll see it's gonna start on this date, it'll end on this date and TubeBuddy will automatically rotate these thumbnails. And then when it's all over, I'll get a report to show me which one they feel got more clicks and more views. And then that's the one I can pick. And if we come back to my AB test, you'll see it right there, give you an idea of what you'll get from the report. So here was a test I did. And if you notice, there's not that much difference between these thumbnails, except this one I added before you buy and an arrow. And a lot of times arrows do very, very well. Well, on this one, it told me that based on the click-through rate, the variation version, this one, outperformed 
by 102%. And then they give you all this great information you can see. And then what happens is they give you the option, do you wanna to change to the variation or you just want to keep the original. They won't do either unless you tell them to. So I've put links to all of these tools down in the description. Remember, two of them are absolutely free to use, so hopefully they'll help you get more views on your YouTube videos. Hey, I'm Kevin. Thank you so much for watching. Remember, keep creating.